In this video, I am going to show you how to create a lead magnet landing page. I will specifically show you how to create a lead magnet landing page with Elementor. If you don't know what a lead magnet is, a lead magnet is a product or service that you give away in return for a piece of information such as email addresses or phone numbers of potential customers so that in future you can send them offers on your products or services. To get email addresses of your users for free, you can give them freebies like ebooks, video training, discounts, webinars, or any kind of digital products. In return, you get their emails for free in order to build your email list. In my case, I'm going to offer a template kit for free, and this is the very template kit I'm going to offer for free. So, if you want to learn how to create a lead magnet landing page, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To achieve our objective of creating our lead magnet, we need to use two resources. The first thing we need to do is create our page with Elementor. Next, we use an email marketing platform in order to create our form where users can enter in their emails in order to get the free service we are offering. So to get started, I'm in the dashboard of my WordPress website. The next thing I do is go over to Pages and I click on Add New. I exit out of here. Next, I go ahead and give my page a title. Next, I go over to Template and I'm going to go ahead and choose Elementor Canvas. I click on Publish. Publish again. It is published, I go ahead and edit it with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, I go ahead and add a new section. Now choose a single column section. Next, I go over to Height, and I'm going to go ahead and choose a minimum height, and I'll give it a VH of 100. Next, I go over to Widgets, and I'm going to go ahead and add an inner section right here. Next, I go over to Advanced, and I'm going to go ahead and unlink the values under pattern. At top, I enter 100, right 200, bottom 100, left 200. So with this, I'll have my design right in the middle of the page. Next, I go over to widgets, and I'm going to go ahead and drag in an image widget here. I choose an image. I have my image right here. I'll just go ahead and drag it and drop it in here. The image is uploaded, I click on Insert Media. Next, I go over to Widgets, and I'm going to go ahead and add in the heading widget, and I'll go ahead and enter in my text. I'll go ahead and center it. I'll change the HTML tag to H4. Next, I go over to Widgets again, and I'm going to go ahead and add in the text editor, and I'll go ahead and enter in my text. Maybe I want to change the heading back to Align, left i'll go over to style and style it a bit i click on the pencil icon under typography and i'll go ahead and increase the line height to maybe 1.5 the next thing i want to do is add some borders to my columns in here so i select the first column then i go over to style i choose border and the border type i choose solid and you see that the border is already applied meanwhile i'm going to go ahead and change the width to one let's see how that will come up perfect meanwhile i don't need a line here so i go back i unlink the values right here then right i make it zero let's take a look see that the line is gone going back i will give it a color of c9 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 and i'm going to go ahead and give it a border radius first of all i unlink the values I'll add a border radius at top at the same time left. So top will be 10 and then left will be 10 as well. Let's take a look. Perfect. This is cool. So similarly, I do the reverse for the second column. So going back, I select the second column. Then I go over to style. I go to border. I'll choose a solid border. I change the width to 1. Then I go ahead and unlink the values so that I take off the line that is here. Let's take a look to see how it is. All right. So left, I just make it zero. Perfect. 
Now let's go ahead and change the color and also add our border radius. Going back, the color I choose C9, C9, C9. Awesome. Next is border radius. I unlink the values. So this time around, it will be right as well as bottom. So I come to right, enter in 10, bottom 10. Let's take a look. Perfect. Going back, I go ahead and update. Now the first part of my page is done. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and add in the sign up form. To do that, I head over to convertkit.com. With convertkit, you can go ahead and sign up for free. But before we do that, let's take a look at their pricing. So in here, you can use convertkit for free where you get 300 subscribers for free. You can create unlimited landing pages, unlimited forms, unlimited email sending and the rest. They also have the creator and creator pro plans where you can get all these features for each one of them. As beginners, the free plan will do. I exit out of here. So in here, you need to go ahead and enter in your email address and password. Then you go ahead and accept the terms of service and click on get started. I already have an account, so I'll just go ahead and log in. Upon login, it will bring you to a page like this. Next thing you want to do is go over to grow. Then you go ahead and click on landing pages and forms. I already have some forms I've created. In your case, you just go ahead and click on create new. Next, I choose form. And from here, you can choose the display format you want. I'll choose inline. Next, you go ahead and choose a template. I'll use this simple one. This one will suit my needs. However, you can choose any template you want. I click on choose. By default, you'll be given only one field, that is email field. If you need more fields, what you need to do is go ahead and click on the plus icon right here and a new field will be added. At the right hand side pane, drop down the arrow under custom field and choose first name. You can rename the field from here if you want, but I'll leave it as it is. Next thing you want to do, you can make it a required field if you want. I would suggest you leave it unchecked so that users will have the option not to enter in their name. The rest of the settings looks fine. However, if you want to change the font color, border color, and then border radius, you can go ahead and do so. You can even go ahead and change the font weight from here, maybe bold. You see that, but I'll keep it as normal. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and customize the button right here. So I select it and I'll go ahead and change the text. I will make it capital letters. Send me the template kit. I want to change the background color to black and the font weight, I change it to bold. Perfect. Now you see that my form is not arranged properly. I want the first name to be first. So what I need to do is hover on these three lines right here. Then I click on it and drag it here. Awesome. Now down here below, you see built with convert kit. If you are using convert kit for the first time, you'll be able to remove it. What you need to do is go ahead and click on it. And from here, if you are using convert kit for the first time, you'll be able to remove this. I already have some forms created in convert kit, so I will be able to remove it. So you can only remove this for the first form you want to create. Any other form you want to create will have this built with convert kit feature here. In order to remove it, you need to upgrade to the pro version of ConvertKit. We don't need that for now. Now the design of my sign up form is done. Next, I go ahead and publish it. And we'll present it with a script that we can embed onto our page. You can either choose to use a JavaScript, HTML, you can use Share, you can also go ahead and use WordPress. However, with this, you need to install extra plugin onto your website so that you copy and paste this short code right there. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use JavaScript so that I don't have to install extra plugins. So what I do is I just go ahead and click on copy. Then I head back to my Elementor page. Next, I go over to widgets. Then I search for short code. I have it right here. I drag it and I place it in between the heading and the text editor. Then I go ahead and paste in the short code right here. Let's update. 
and then let's preview it see how it will come up all right this is how it will look like don't worry the form will show so going back to convert kit i exit out of here the next thing you want to do is go over to settings and this is where you need to choose a trigger when a visitor subscribes the form what do you want them to see do you want to show them a success message just like this or redirect them to an external page when you choose redirect to external page in here you need to enter the url to that particular page for this tutorial i'll keep it as show a success message however i will go ahead and customize this message so instead of success now check your email to confirm your subscription i will change it to download your template kit something like that next thing you want to do is go over to incentive this is where you can add the free product you want to send to your audience so in here you see that send incentive email is checked with this an email will be sent to users where they get to download whatever file you want to send them and this is where you edit the contents of the email we'll come back to it in a moment next is auto confirm new subscribers when this is selected automatically when people enter their email into the sign up form they will be confirmed right away so with this even when users enter wrong email address the system will still confirm them so if you don't want users to spam you i will advise you and check this now after confirming you can redirect them to a url which you have to enter right here in this case we are not going to redirect them to any page rather we want to give them a file so we click on download and this is where we choose the file we want to send to our users so i click on choose a file i have the file i want to upload right here i click on open after selecting it it is uploaded next let's go ahead and edit the email content so i click on edit email content in here by default you see your email address next is subject so instead of important confirm your subscription i will say here is your download or something whatever text you want to enter in there in here you go ahead and customize the body of the email so thanks for signing up click the link below to confirm your subscription so instead of click to confirm your subscription i'll say to download your template kit so i'll change the text on the button to download download template kit here something like that you can also go ahead and customize the button maybe i will change the color to black so that it will be in line with the button on my sign up form maybe down here you can add in your name two pages web it can be your personal name then I go ahead and click on save. Next thing you want to do is go over to advanced. This is where you can change what is going to be shown to return visitors who have already subscribed to your form. So you can decide to continue to show the form. You can hide the form from them or you can show custom content. By default, continue to show the form is selected. You can hide it or show custom content. This is where you enter some text to tell them that they have already subscribed. I'll leave it as continue to show the form. Maybe they might want to download the template again. I can also go ahead and enable invincible recapture. Then I click on save. When all is set, you go ahead and click on save. Perfect. Your form has been saved. It may take a few minutes to see your changes live. Let's go ahead and check it out. So I come to my page right here. Then I go ahead and refresh. All right, it's still not here, so let's give it a moment. What we can also do is go back to Elementor, then go ahead and click on Apply right here. All right, now you can see that my form is showing. So let's go ahead and preview to see how it will come up. Perfect. Going back to the Elementor editor, let's see how it will come up on mobile devices. So I go to Responsive Mode. First of all, let's see this tablet. This is how it will look like. It doesn't look cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and edit the inner section. I can just right click here, 
and I edit inner section. First of all, I unlink the values and the pattern, and you see it's looking great now. Perfect. Let's take a look. All right, I think this is cool. Going back, let's see how it will come up on mobile. And I think it's already looking great on mobile. Maybe I can center this heading right here. I go to content center and I do the same thing in here. Style center. Perfect. Let's take a look. One thing you will notice that on mobile, the border is not in good shape. So we need to add in the border here and add some border radius. Then we take off the borders at bottom and top for these two columns here. Then we go ahead and add another border here. So let's go back. First of all, I'll go ahead and select the first column. Next, I go over to border. I unlink the values under width. Top will be one. Right will also be one. Bottom will be zero. And then left will be one. Let's take a look at how it will come up. All right. Now let's take care of the border radius here. So going back, I unlink the values and the borders. So top will be 10, right will be 10, and that's all what we want to do. Let's take a look. Perfect. Going back, now let's take care of the second column. So I click on edit column right here, then I go over to border. First of all, I unlink the values and the width. Top, there's no going to be a border. So I add borders for right, bottom, and left. Let's take a look at how it will come up. Perfect. So the last thing we want to do is add in some border radius at bottom. Going back, I unlink the values under border radius. So bottom, I make it 10, and then left will be 10. Let's take a look. Perfect. This capture thing is covering this side, but I'm sure it is done. Let's go back and update. Let's take a look for the last time. This looks clean. So now creating our lead magnet landing page is done. Let's see how we can use it to build our email list. So going back to Elementor, I go over to the hamburger menu right here. Then I go ahead and view the page. Take note, this is just a preview. I can exit from there. So this is the actual page. This is the link you sent your users so that they can have access to this page. So I'll just go ahead and copy it. Then I'll open a new private window. Then I'll go ahead and paste it in. So if a visitor land on this page, and they go ahead and enter in their name, Maybe this, and I enter my email like this. Then I click on send me the template kits. Success, now check your email to download your template kit. So I go ahead and log into my email. All right, I have a new email from Jiggle Pages web. I click on it, and right here, I go ahead and click on download template kits. And now the file is downloading here, awesome. So with this, users can go ahead and use this file. Now let's head back to ConvertKit and see how the user will be listed. So I go in here, then I go over to Grow, click on Subscribers, and I have the new subscriber right here. That is my name here, the email address I entered, and then on this date, and you see that the status is confirmed. So this is how you can give your potential users some freebies in order to get your email addresses to build your email list. So that's it on how to create a lead magnet landing page with Elementor. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.